In this video, I'm gonna give you the five biggest mistakes that I personally made while growing my woodworking business to over $720,000 per year. And I'm gonna tell you what they are and why you should not do them. Let's dive in. Well, hey, 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 what is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel, as always. In today's video, I wanna tell you the five biggest mistakes that I made while trying to grow my woodworking business to where it currently sits at averaging over $720,000 per year. So that's about $60,000 per month. We're actually doing above that now, around $70,000 per month, but I don't have an annual number for you yet. So I wanna give you the five biggest mistakes that I made, okay? So number one was not staying diligent. So what I realized and I identified this in myself when I first started was that I would get an order and then I wouldn't immediately start working on it. I would think, well, I, you know, I told her four to five weeks or six weeks. So I have plenty of time. What this did was it slowed me down. I wouldn't stay diligent. I wouldn't sell and then immediately fulfill on those orders. That was something that slowed me down dramatically. You may catch yourself doing that. If you get an order, you kind of hum-haw around and you don't get right to it. You should get right to it as quickly as you can. So number two was not consistently marketing and selling. What my business looked like for the first two or three years would be that I would turn on ads and I'd get a bunch of sales and then I would freak out and wouldn't know how to fulfill them fast enough and I'd turn my marketing off and I wouldn't sell anything. And then when I got to where I didn't have any orders, I'd turn my marketing on and I'd sell a bunch and then I'd turn it off. My business was constantly doing this instead of doing this. If you want your business to really grow, you should never ever turn off your marketing. You should be marketing all the time. And if you're marketing all the time, you should be getting orders. And if you're not getting orders, your marketing isn't working. So you gotta figure out how to fix your marketing. But if you are getting orders, then now the problem becomes, how do we fulfill faster? How do I bring on new employees, implement new systems, and do things in a much more efficient way? And if you're at that point in your business right now, you should check out the Woodworking Business Accelerator Program. We have over 20 clients in that right now, all across the United States and Canada, where we help them scale their woodworking business operations. So number three, third mistake that I made was not setting really clear, distinct goals. I just was really just wandering around, didn't know what I wanted out of my business and didn't know how to get there. There's an old quote that says, if you don't aim at anything, you'll hit it every single time. That is so true inside of our businesses. So you should get really clear on what you want your business to look like from a financial standpoint. Do you want to have employees? Do you want to move out of your garage and into a shop? What do you want your business to look like? Okay, you should set those goals. You should write them down and review them on a weekly basis at the least, just to make sure that you're staying on track of where you're trying to get to. So number four, was not understanding cash flow and margins and profit and loss statements. Silent killer inside of businesses for most businesses is that there's a misunderstanding of the finances. There's not a thorough understanding of how to read a profit and loss statement, how to understand, do I have enough cash flowing into the business right now to make sure that we're not gonna run our bank account dry. Back when I really started trying to scale the business back in 2021, this was an issue that I faced because we scaled rapidly and there were lots of changes happening within the business lots of employees getting hired. We signed the lease on the showroom. We signed the lease on a new manufacturing location. And there were lots of these intense changes happening. And we're trying to implement hundreds of systems inside of the business. And it just got sloppy. And what we realized is we looked up three or four months later and we had lost a lot of money by making mistakes and not being aware of it. And so cash flow and managing the amount of cash flow that's coming in and out of your business is super, super important. And it was a huge mistake that I made on my journey to getting to where we are today. Number five, the final mistake that I made made was not putting the right people in the right seats on the bus inside of the business. So once you start scaling and you start hiring people, a lot of times you're just needing warm bodies to basically fill these spots and help you get this work done. Well, what you have to eventually get to is you have to understand what are the people's strengths? What are their weaknesses? Do they deserve and have a seat on your bus? And if they do, which seat do they need to be in? For example, Joyce, she's our sales rep, but she also handles a lot of her administrative work inside of this business. She would tell you that her strong suit is not the administrative work. It's not the organization. It's not the ordering materials and scheduling deliveries. It is the sales. She's really good at sales. Well, for the last couple years, she's had to kind of do both. And we're finally making moves now to get her out of all of the administrative style work and get her into more of that sales role where she can really thrive. That is the seat on the bus that she needs to be in. If you are trying to grow your woodworking business, your handmade business, and you are struggling and you don't know what your next step is, you should check out my free ebook, The 
Handmade Business Secrets ebook. It's the first link below in the description. You can click on that. And when you click on that, it'll take you straight to enter your name, email, and you'll get it in your inbox. And that'll be super helpful for you. If you're ready to take it to the next level and get more advanced strategies, you should check out the Handmade Hero Academy. It's really cost efficient. It's just $47 per month for 12 months. And we back that with a full money back guarantee because we know that that's going to help you. Those are all the principles that got me to that ten to $15,000 per month mark. And then like I mentioned earlier, if you're trying to grow your woodworking business and scale it to new heights, you should check out the Woodworking Business Accelerator Program. So with that being said, love and appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. Check out the other videos here if you're trying to grow your woodworking or your handmade business, and I'll see you in the next one.